Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Mrs. Smith. Thank you both for being here and thank you for being on time. I appreciate that. Jane, I've been told that you uh, do really well with your behavior in school, that you're very well behaved in class. And I've heard that you're always at school and you are rarely absent. So I just want to congratulate you on that. Um, I do know that we have been having a little bit of difficulty with your testing scores, which is why we had you complete that long assessment. So I just want to go over the results today with you and your mother. So Ms. Smith, the assessment that we had Jane take, it is called the Wechsler Intelligence Scale for Children. And the results that we saw were, were pretty good. Uh, we saw that Jane is functioning about where we would want to see for her age range. Uh, she had, you know, acceptable scores in thinking and reasoning, in her intellect, and in verbal reasoning. So that's fantastic. Uh, based on the results, I would interpret that the difficulty that she is having in school is stemming from an inability to focus and to pay attention. So I know that that's a behavior that you've noticed as well. So, you know, if Jane isn't able to, to focus throughout the whole time, she's reading a paragraph, for example, it's hard for her to then comprehend that paragraph. It's not that she can't read or she can't understand, she's just having difficulty focusing on the material. Um, additionally, we did see that she scored a little bit lower than we would expect in her working memory. So what that means is if she reads, you know, a long strain of information or a long strain of numbers, it's difficult for her to remember the information by the time that she needs to recall it. So what I'd like to do with the two of you, Jane, hopefully uh, you can help me with this, is I'd like to work on some memory tasks with you. So we'll go over some activities that can help you to focus more and help you to learn to remember things more. Um, we can do an activity, it's called chunking, and I can teach you how to do that so that you can remember things a little bit easier and that way you'll be able to answer questions a little bit better in school. Um, Ms. Smith, something that I'd like to encourage you to do is when you are working on Jane with her homework, if we can focus on her um, achievements of finishing her homework in a timely manner or you know the quality of her work as opposed to if she got it right or wrong, that would be helpful for her to encourage her to uh, increase her attention ability and her memory ability. So I look forward to, to working on both of those items with the both of you.